Cancer, beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome, welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirits' messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, in this reading, we will be pulling some messages that will help uncover any abundance blocks you might be experiencing at this time, money or love related. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your beautiful life or that special somebody, go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below. Along with my husband, if you have not yet, check him out. He is over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We will be pulling a final message from the universe. Beautiful. So... Right now, there is a significant need for you to recognize cancer. The environment that you spend your time in is so significant, more significant than we could ever imagine. So if there are things, little tasks around your, um, how, uh, your, your life, like to-dos, things that you've been putting off, um, you know, maybe you've been putting off cleaning or organizing or keeping things that are unnecessary in your home around you, um, wearing clothes that you don't connect with anymore, but you're just wearing them because you have them, right? These little things matter a lot. And again, in order for us to upgrade and evolve and, and detach from energy attachments that keep us bound in the same frequency that we've been practicing. So in other words, if we want to evolve in our relationships, if we want to attract more money, if we want to grow and feel expansive and be really feeling on purpose with our lives and, and, and with ourselves, we have to remember that keeping the energy clear is the most important thing we could ever do. Because the more clear our energy is, the more detached we are. So again, when we are feeling really um, constricted and we are feeling a lack of confidence, we're feeling like we are, are, are being influenced by our outer world, that's a big one, Cancer. Being influenced by our outer surroundings. And it's because, here's the deal, right? You're basically walking around as a giant sponge and you're absorbing everything from everywhere, right? And so when you do things for yourself, like clean, keep your space clean, keep things organized, you know, the little things, um, get the tasks you've got to do, you know, and, and you knock off the tasks um, that you have going on in your awareness, you clear energy, right? You clear energy. Exercise helps as well. Um, but, but I've come to realize that it's, it's all things, right? It's, it's really all things. It, it, everything, plays a role. And so in order for us to feel comfortable, confident with ourselves so we can detach, right? We have to kind of wring out that sponge that we have, right? And in order to, and, and in order to feel our truth and in order to feel what is, feel grounded in our knowing and feel confident in our knowing, it's really important for us to be able to, um, not have, live life in balance uh, with those, you know, with things. And that's, we got to keep our spaces clean and we got to maintain, um, you know, the daily tasks we have to take care of. Because what it does is it releases us from that attachment, that energy attachment. And when we are attached to an energy, it takes from us. So we want to release as many attachments as possible. And then we can be more free, right, in our, in our, we feel more clear, we feel more grounded, we feel um, smarter, we feel uh, lighter, which makes us feel better and more comfortable in our bodies, um, and, and just so many things when we release those attachments. Um, so that will help. Whatever you are spending your time focusing on or working on, understand that everything serves a purpose and nothing is wasted. So if you feel like you spent your time and your energy towards working on something or somebody, and it didn't go the way that you wanted it to, the way that you intended it to, um, understand that there's always a process for things. And and spirit world will always plant seeds in your awareness and in your life so that you become acclimated a little bit, you gain a little bit of experience. Um, and then usually again, everything pivots, right? We don't want to spend, dive into something and go full blown, full force into it. We want to be able to pivot our energy, right? So if you got a new job, for instance, and all you're doing is thinking about this new job, you're going to be way too attached to that outcome. And what's going to, the problem is, is that you're not going to see it in a, in, in, from the lens of your true self, meaning that like you'll feel more stressed, you'll feel more rushed, you'll feel more um, uh, lacking, you won't feel the abundance, you won't feel when it's time to, you know, um, put your attention towards other things. We always want to pivot our energy. Like I can't always focus on um, uh, tarot cards. And there was a point in my life when I was learning that that's all I focused on. All I did was tarot, 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 wake up and tarot practice tarot, learn tarot, definitions, practice, filmed, 
it was my whole life. It consumed me. And the difficulty with that is that I wasn't able to, I was too attached to the outcome. So I was more nervous in the reads. I was, I was unable to give the message accordingly because I was so focused on the, the learnings that I had, right? Instead of learning something or focusing on something for a little bit of time, detaching from it, letting go, doing something else, and then coming back, right? So you always want to pivot your focus and your awareness because when you're doing the other things in life, right? That's when you receive clarity on the thing that matters most to you. So even if you feel like things are not working out for you, understand that everything always is. And it's always a process of just recognizing, you know, what feels good and what doesn't. See, life's experience teaches. Words don't teach, but life's experience teaches. So we learn something, we go off and experience, and we learn more. And it, it's helpful for us to um, clear out as many uh, energy connections to things as possible in order for us to really receive the most amount of clarity as possible. So you really only want to have a certain amount of things in your awareness, right? So, you know, if you had like, if you were raising kids, it would be about, you know, what does each child need at different times? Maybe having a list and kind of having a schedule, kind of having it in your awareness, kind of what that's, what's needed, um, kind of having a few things that, you know, you need to do in order to, um, make yourself feel good, right? And, 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 and the partners and the houses and whatever it is, right? But having in your awareness what it is kind of that you need to take care of. And the thing is, is that if you start every day waking up early and whether you're male or feminine, we, we really encourage this. Wake up early where you have time with yourself. And I'm not talking like 30 minutes. I'm not talking like get up you know, have an hour and then rush to work because you'll, all you're going to be thinking about is how you got to go to work and you're just going to not be present in the moment, right? Wake up so early that you have hours to spend with yourself, like three hours. And that way you can wake up in peace. You can maybe do a little gratitude practice, a little meditation. Um, you can, you know, have a, some fun with yourself and kind of just maybe learn something new, maybe kind of get yourself grounded, organized for the day ahead spirit. What is necessary for me this day? What is, how can I best serve? And when you do this for yourself, what's going to happen is you put yourself back in the driver's seat. You put yourself back into a place of power because you are the one taking control of your life and taking uh, charge for the things that are asked of you that day, you see? And that's all it takes. That's all it takes. That's what got me from where I was to where I am today is just being with myself and tuning into the guidance that I'm receiving, right? That's, that's the only thing that I did and, and constantly listened, right? But in order for me to be able to do that, I had to clear out a lot of the energy connections I had, a lot of the clutter. Um, and so, you know, that was, you know, letting go of relationships that didn't serve me, friendships. That was letting go of um, particular behaviors. And it's really thoughts, right? It's the thoughts that keep us bound. So anytime you can't find yourself letting go of something, or you keep thinking about something, a person, a situation, know that that energy is keeping you bound to the outcome. And so here's an affirmation for you, beautiful soul. This is what spirit gave me to give to you. And it says here, come on, autofocus. Don't, don't, don't do this to us now. I let, come on. I let go. I let go of all outcomes and embrace the guidance from spirit. I let go of all outcomes and embrace the guidance from spirit. Sorry, beautiful souls. One more time. There we go. There you go. So that will help serve you because no matter what, cancer, no matter what, you're being guided towards the abundance you deserve. No matter what, no matter what you think, no matter what's going on, no matter how chaotic life feels, no matter what, you are being guided towards the abundance that you desire. So at this time, you just want to make sure that you are, um, if you are ever feeling Oh, just heavy. Uh, heavy will bring emotions of um, sadness, fatigue, irritability, impatience, lack of confidence, um, just not really feeling our truth. You might be feeling betrayed. You might be feeling deceited. You might be feeling like things are going well. You might be, you know, pissed. You might be feeling really pessimistic, right? With the four cups. And we're telling you, we're telling you, we're telling you. Get up, clean your house, clean up some stuff right? Don't sit there in that frequency, get up and move around and cleaning your house will be the best way to do it because it also cleans our environment. Trust me, just did it the other day, it works like a charm and it, you know, getting, and those, those things we don't want to do, like cleaning out the fridge, you know, like, uh, having, keeping the bathrooms nice and clean. I have a, a tip for you guys. If you ever are having a hard time keeping up with the bathroom and stuff like that, I always clean my toilet before I'm going to go in the shower. And then it's like, kind of like a ritual. Well, clean the toilet, go in the shower, wash away. It's nice. I'm going to like to compound the things, you know what I mean? So at the end of the day, 
cleaning and clearing that frequency will give you a better connection to yourself. Universe's message, be true to yourself. Universe says, you may not ever understand what's going on in their life, but you can always figure out what's going on in yours. Tally ho, the universe. We love you so much, beautiful soul. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there are messages in here for you. And if there was, like and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.